Hey brother, we're in day 25 as we hold fast. And this past five days, we've primarily been talking about issues of life, abortion and gender, euthanasia, all these kinds of things that devalue life. Well, let me uh, close this week out with a challenge to hold fast, to not stop, to never give up, to see that God is in this battle with us. And I want to go back to Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. God says this, See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, that I command you today by loving the Lord your God, by walking in his ways, and by keeping his commandments and his statutes and his rules, then you shall live and multiply, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to take possession of it. Now, that had a particular geographical promise to the nation of Israel, but that is a general principle that is true, because the truth will do what? It will set you free. The truth is what brings life and gives the freedom of life, the joy and the vibrancy of life. So how do we live this way? I just want to give you two basic principles. Number one is to love the Lord your God, to spend time in his word. Um, Moses begins this commandment with loving the Lord your God, not only at the beginning of the journey, but every day in the journey. So love the Lord. Secondly, walk in his ways. Well, what are his ways? Well, let's borrow another verse from the Old Testament in Micah chapter 6, verse 8 which says, He has showed you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, to walk humbly with your God. When our hearts are broken, when we're emotionally stirred by an issue, when we're angry about something that's happening in our culture, how do we do that? We, we channel it into just action. To protect, to redeem to go to someone who needs us one life at a time. We don't resort to violence. We don't resort to innuendo and attack, a physical or verbal. We promote life by just action. We put our money and our time where our mouth is. I heard a statistic that said that the people for the ethical treatment of animals, PETA, actually that only 1% of their money goes toward the animals. Well, let's make sure we have just action. Secondly, we're to love mercy. Have you or someone else you know suffered evil, been wounded by life, made a choice that has changed the trajectory of your life, and it's maybe not recoverable even in this life, but a person needs mercy. They need someone to come alongside them and say, I don't judge you for your, your bad choices. I love you as a person. I want to walk next to you and do whatever I can to bring about healing in your life. And thirdly, we're to walk humbly. That this life is to be walked under the sovereignty of God and that we aren't the answer, but we have an answer. We can walk humbly and say, I don't have much, but what I have, I'm going to give to you. What I do know, I want to share with you. I'm willing to listen to you. Are you willing to listen to me? It's a humble approach to life, to turn away from all the other options, but to continue the fight. The Lord said, I set before you today life and good, death and evil. Those are stark choices. They are still true today. Men, we need to help each other and we need to help others see how valuable it is to choose life. Do so today. God bless you.